I'm a flight attendant based in New York City. And I'm a flight attendant based in LA. I make $48,000 a year. And I make $48,000 a year as well. So it's been three years. I've been here four years. I'm 25 years old. And I'm 30 years old. I thought you were 28. I'm not 28. Oh, okay, I look 28, it's okay though. <laughs> I have 54,000 in investment and savings, 18,000 in savings alone, 6,000 in a Roth IRA, and 30,000 in mutual funds. I have zero in student loans. On average, I fly 75 hours. After taxes, my take-home pay is 3,300. 500 goes to monthly rent, 90 on utilities, and 2,000 towards savings. $30 on monthly subscriptions. That leaves me around $700 to spend. I have about 10,800 in saving, 800 in 401k, and 10,000 in a traditional saving. On average, I fly about 90 hours a month. After taxes, I make about 3,800. 1250 a month goes to rent, 129 on utilities, 200 towards saving, and $21 on monthly subscriptions. 500 a month goes to my car. That leaves 1700 to spend. I make about 48,000 a year. My base pay is 1,500 a month. Yeah, we have a base pay of around $1,500 a month. Once we pass 55 hours of flight time, we get paid on an hourly rate. The hourly rate depends on your rank and how long you've been in the company. I earn an additionally hourly rate of $27 an hour. Next. My per diem is about $4 an hour, and I get paid from as soon as we close the doors from our base until we get back to the base and we open doors. And that's just pay that we get for meals or things that we do on our layovers. It doesn't sound a lot, but once it starts to add up, you see a difference in your check. Finally, and I get a flight supplement as well for $300. Flight supplement is supplemental pay, so that's like, since we live in New York, the cost of living is higher, so the company realizes that and they give us extra pay so that we can reach our monthly expenses. Here, Here are our, our last, last credit, credit card, card statements. statements. For me, ever since I became a flight attendant, I noticed that our bodies go through a lot of changes, especially like being up in the air so many hours. So I started investing in like vitamins and skincare products because it, it, it can take a toll on your body and, and your skin. I feel like my skin, it will change from like dry to combination skin. Also like your immune system takes a toll. When I first started flying, I got sick a lot. I definitely realized I had to take care of myself more than the average person. Skin Diva, 3477. Derma rolling, so it's like a roller with like needles that you would just roll on your face and it actually promotes collagen. So someone told me about it, so I bought it and I've been trying it. I haven't done it for that long, so we'll see. Y7, $45 and then $250. So that's the yoga studio. Planet Fitness Great Neck, $279. They have these protein cookies. It's like my way of getting my sweets and protein at the same time. I don't feel as bad for eating sweets. Amazon, $57.98, most likely protein, vitamins, or creams. I try to do all my spending online, and it works best for me too because I can do shopping from overseas and then come back home to all those boxes on my front step. Hudson News, Jamaica, 273. Yeah, either gum or chapstick. I probably spent a lot of money on chapstick, and I always lose them. I use them once or twice, and then they're gone, and I'll find them later in the laundromat. Massage Envy Spa, 4271. Most of the time they do my facial as well. At least every two weeks, I have to do facials, so like, you know, take the dead skin and everything to keep my skin glowy. Because we're putting makeup almost every single day. Celebrella Turrence, this was $550. This was for micro needling. It's like a facial with the needles, and what they do is forcing your skin to regenerate. It's really good. This was for three sections. It looks like my most expensive purchase for the month. Lash, I do individual lashes because it's easier for me. I don't have to put mascara on when I'm flying. And you look pretty even with no makeup on when you wake up in the morning. Oh, I'm giving him all the secrets. Ultra, 159.34. I love makeup. I have two different sets of makeup. The one that I use for flying is more moisturizing. So it keeps my skin moisturized while I'm in the air. And then we have Marshalls, 57.97. I am always in Marshalls because it's where I buy a lot of my stuff for work. Stockings. In every flight attendant's closet, you will find hundreds of stockings. Because even one, you know, ripping a stocking, you have to change it. One line, you have to change it. We are always spending money on stockings. You're not gonna find a flight attendant that doesn't have like a huge bag of stockings in her house somewhere. I usually travel with three, always. I feel like women have definitely more of a pressure to look a certain way. Yeah, certain because way. we have to wear makeup, you have to tie the scarf a certain way, the shoes has to be like, you know, set it into so yeah. Women have more pressure than men. The women have to wear two pairs of shoes. They're high heels that they walk in the airport with, and then they'll have their cabin shoes, which are like flats that they work on the plane with because you don't want to be working with high heels unless you want to. As a guy for sure like they they want you to you know that you look presentable well-groomed but that's something I've always done so I never really felt pressure 
but I definitely would say that the women have it worse. We're actually not allowed to use makeup. Maybe like creams and stuff, but makeup, no. We've had issues in the past with men using makeup. We're allowed to have a beard as long as it's so well groomed and trimmed. And I know other airlines don't allow that. Our company actually allows men to have man buns. I will not be rocking a man bun anytime soon. Staples, 630. I bought a little booklet to do like my briefings. Since I'm a cabin chief, I'll do like, uh, I have to do like a briefing about like the plane we're on, the amount of passengers. So I bought a, a notebook that I can put in my suit. BJ's Wholesale 1450, I was buying muffins. It's a guilty pleasure of mine, especially when you heat them up. Because I'm never, I'm not gonna spend groceries overseas. I'm not gonna carry all those groceries around with me around the world. I would say I spend more on like eating out on layovers. A lot of times I like to explore and sit down in a nice restaurant. It's the whole point of being a flight attendant. Groceries, not really. And when I'm home, my parents cook. That's actually included in the rent. Northern Wine and Liquor, 3264. That was to buy for my dad. It must have been a family event. My family is really big on getting together, like on the weekends. Realis Spa, that's the hotel we stay in in Paris, 1741. That was definitely dinner at the hotel. They have this really good salmon dish that is just amazing. Those French people, yeah, they can really cook. I really don't like to be in my room, so I'll either go downstairs or I'll go out. I'm not a room service guy. The next one is Real Spa Rosé from Paris, and it's $31.65, and it's room service. I love doing room service because after I get to the hotel, I need to eat. Vons, Instacart, San Francisco. This is the app that I have that I order um, groceries and they deliver for me. My grocery that day was $45, $85. I'm always ordering <laughs> groceries to for delivery because when I get home, I'm so tired. I don't want to go to the grocery store. When I wake up in the morning, I tend to drink green tea and lemon. I add also green smoothies as well to it. The Pump restaurant is a restaurant in West Hollywood. Ooh, they make the best pasta ever. That is $73 restaurant charge. The creativeloft.com Brooklyn, $12.95 is for a home studio. Yeah, I'm making a home studio because I'm, I'm working on doing my YouTube channel. iTunes, that would be for music that I buy because of my editing thing. I buy uh, music there to practice putting music in the videos. So those are for music. Paying for transportation, I pay for taxis or trains into the city. Overseas, I'll pay for trains or, or taxis or buses to go into another town or to go into a club that's far away. I definitely don't like to stay in the hotels. I like to explore. I think it's kind of pointless to be a flight attendant and not do any exploring. LIRR tickets, Jamaica, 750. Yeah, most likely either visiting some friends or heading to the airport or coming back from the airport. Taxi to Yesheim, 2731. So I usually walk to like the town that's next to the hotel. I remember this time my, my coworker didn't want to walk because it was actually really cold. Anyway, so we got a taxi there, which was like probably like five minutes to get there and they charged you like almost $30 just to get there and the $30 to come back. Definitely not worth it. Rather walk. 27.31 and then on the way back was 25.43 for five minutes. Crazy. Next is Amsterdam, 12.70. That was most likely to get into the city using the tram. The Wild Water Express car, $6 is for the Easy Pass that I have in my car. We hold Library Park Garage, $8. We're going out partying. TJ Maxx, $14.12. I think I bought a portable like water bottle, like a reusable one. Okay, H&M Los Angeles, $123.69. I didn't have a white tank top, so I had to go to H&M and get one. And I think I brought like skinny jeans or something. So that's what the charges is for. Victoria's Secret, woohoo! I always shop at Victoria's Secret. I buy my perfume, I buy everything there. And that was for $16.43, I have brought a body mist from Victoria's Secret. The company doesn't charge us to fly with them. The airport does. So if I wanted to take a trip to Paris, I would just have to pay the taxes, which could be anywhere from like 30 to $40 each way. So a round trip might come out to like 80 or $90. And then Norwegian Air Shuttle, that was my ticket when I was going to Thailand. The ticket, yeah, you have to pay for it, it's really cheap, but it's just tax. I'll probably do that a couple times a month. Airbnb, two or seven, fifteen dollars $15, Airbnb in Thailand. It's the most fun, cheapest vacation you can ever go to. The weather, and then the food, Thai food is good. It's addictive, I'm telling you. <laughs> Staples, 6423. I bought ink for my brother. He paid me back. I don't really use a printer. Bayside service, Bayside. I had a flat tire. I remember they charged me a lot for that flat tire. $20 just to put a, a plug. I could have done that myself. 
purchased this ticket for Six Flags, but I did not go because the weather was bad. And that was for $78, $98, but I didn't go. Terra Cinema was a movie that I went to, and that is for $12. Yeah, it was just for movies. That's, That's my, my monthly, monthly money, money breakdown. breakdown. I see myself retired in 30 years, owning a house, and I think I see myself in another country, to be honest. I want to build a house in Africa. I want to build a school. My grandfather owns a huge school. I want to build my own as well. I never thought I would become a flight attendant, to be honest. I always wanted to travel, so that was always a dream of mine. And the cheapest way to travel as well is being a flight attendant, let's be honest. I love it. I, I was only going to do it for a year and then come back, and it's been three years. Can you be nice to the flight attendants? <laughs> Please be nice. We're trying to do our best. Just be nice to us, and you almost get what you want. Almost. Almost. <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.